Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation by Railbookers on the uh, how to combine different Swiss destinations by train. My name is Kyle Smith, and I am your host today. And appreciate you all taking the time this evening or this afternoon, depending, of course, where you're at. And uh, we're going to go through a lot of good information today. So buckle up and hop on board, and let's get started. Uh, we're going to cover a lot of different things, a lot of different pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, of information today. And uh, before we get into everything we're going to review, if you wouldn't mind grabbing a pen and paper and taking note of our website at the bottom of your screen, as well as our reservations telephone number. That way, um, if you have additional questions for us, we'll spend some time today to go through question and answer. We'll, I have that time allocated for that. Uh, but anything we could do for you further, by all means, simply give us a call, speak with us directly and uh, we'll be able to help you out with whatever it is you are looking for. I just want to do a quick mic check to make sure I'm coming in loud and clear. So if you can see my screen, what we will cover today, and you can hear me loud and clear, go ahead and give me a yes or a no there in the question box. I'll be able to see that as we are live today. I know Ronald is asking a question about uh, Marin to the Glacier Express, and I actually don't know that, Ronald. I don't know the answer to that offhand, uh, but maybe you ought to give our team a call later, to, uh, maybe tomorrow morning and speak with them directly. But uh, thank you for those that are saying yes. Thank you, Bruce, Bob, Sean, Susan, appreciate that very much. And uh, so what we're gonna cover today is important things to know about traveling by train. Uh, I'm gonna cover all those points. Popular destinations to consider for your next rail vacation. And we're gonna be focused mainly today only on Switzerland. Uh, so a lot more on that. What travelers are booking right now for this year as well as next year and how rail bookers is providing a safe environment and ultimately what the train companies are doing to ensure passenger safety. So that's the meat of our presentation today. And so let's get started. So I would like to introduce you to our entire organization, the Yankee Leisure Group Incorporated. And we are North America's largest independent rail tour operator and uh, we operate under the brands of Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. Now, we are not Amtrak. We are, we are their official tour operator. And so we, our sister company, uh, spends all their time right now booking Amtrak Vacations uh, for domestic travel. And as we know, we are free to travel domestically overall. And they are extremely busy right now with people booking their domestic travels. And so they, if that's something you're considering, if you would like to go to a U.S. national park this year, a major city, Washington, D.C., New Orleans, just to name a few, the Amtrak vacations team can help you put that together if rail is something you're interested in. And since you're here tonight, I'm assuming rail is something you are extremely interested in. So they are extremely busy there. Now, we at Rail Bookers, we focus more on international travel. Uh, that also includes Alaska as well as Canada. And the reason why we book Alaska is because there's no Amtrak services up there. So we do Alaska, we do Canada, Europe, Asia, South Africa, and Australia. So everything international in our entire company revolves around rail travel. Now, if you would like an Amtrak Vacations brochure, just simply head to their website, www.amtrakvacations.com. You can request it online. Same rule applies for our brochures here at Rail Bookers. And we have three of them for this travel season. We have our cruise extensions, our luxury rail journeys, and our generic uh, e-brochure for you. Now, we don't have hard copies right now. I don't know if we're going to bring those back or not, but uh, you can go to our website and request each of these, and you can download them right to your computer. And uh, so for those of you that are looking to do cruising throughout Europe and the rest of the world, you may want to consider doing a pre- or post-cruise vacation, and our cruise extensions brochure will have all of that, as well as our uh, luxury rail journeys. If you're really into rail travel, and I'm sure a few of you are if you're here today and definitely want to check off those iconic trains like the Venice Simplon Orient Express, in fact, that's what's photoed right there in the middle, then you're going to want to look at that brochure. And then our generic one that has a little bit of everything. So I would just encourage you to have all three. Uh, that way you can browse through those and give us a call if you have any questions. Now, when can you book a rail booker's trip? Well, from tomorrow all the way to 2023 or anywhere in between. 
Uh, we're able to book the rails, the hotels, and the tours for you two years in advance anywhere in the world. And uh, international travel is getting more busier and busier. We are taking deposits for travels for this year, if, if it should open up, as well as for next year and beyond. And so for those of you that are just waiting for things to settle down a bit further before you look at international travel, then no problem whatsoever. You can make your reservations uh, soon and you can travel a year out from now if you'd like. We have that flexibility. Here's our uh, a glimpse of our new website that we just launched. You can get all the e-brochures right there. Now, uh, since we do worldwide rail travel, we have direct rail partnerships with all the rail companies worldwide, including our very own Amtrak and Canada's Via Rail, and then of course the European train. So we work very closely with these rail companies. We're able to get the fares and schedules uh, much further out in advance than the average Joe. And so that does make it easy for planning purposes, which have never been more dominant than they are right now, uh, with the world still you know, recovering from COVID-19. And these are just some of the reasons why travelers love rail bookers. Uh, the first one is our rail expertise. You know, we know more about European rail than anybody for the most part. And, um, you know, it's universally known in the world that the Europeans have figured out rail travel. They've perfected the art of rail travel, in other words. they It's affordable, it's efficient, it's on time, and a preferred method of transportation. And But it, it is complex. You know, there's so many different rail routes and multiple ways to get from point A to point B, but we know all of that, so we're going to be able to uh, pinpoint exactly what you're looking for by working with us. Uh, like I mentioned before, we can book travel all the way out into 2023. We also provide maximum flexibility. We understand everybody has different health histories and different things they've got to consider before they decide to travel. We get that, and so we allow for maximum flexibility. We'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, we are the, like I said before, we have the largest rail vacation selection anywhere in the world. Uh, we are North America's largest rail tour operator. So we are really the ones to be working with. Now, um, you can work directly with us or you can go and book directly with your travel agent. Either way, uh, we work with travel agents as well. And uh, we get, in fact, we get a lot of business from travel agents and I'm so thankful for them being a, a business development rep. So if any travel agents are here today, feel free to say hello so I can see you. And uh, I am very fond of travel agents uh, as well. So there you go. Now, no rail trip is too complicated for us. So no matter what you're looking to do by rail, we're gonna be able to do it for you. What I will tell you is I'm sure you're gonna ask me some very specific questions today. In fact, uh, the already one came in from Ronald Stevens about connecting to the glacier. I typically don't make the reservations for customers directly. Uh, I, I, I serve it in a different function. And so our travel consultants are, are really the ones that are the experts. So. Uh, I'll do my best, uh, but then again, you're always better off giving us a call, speaking with us directly, or going directly to your travel agent for key information. Now, we are conveniently located all throughout the world. So we have offices in California, which is where I'm at, Toronto, Canada, uh, Massachusetts, just outside Boston, London, and Sydney, Australia. So when the world opens up fully and we're able to travel international again, uh, you will be fully uh, supported by our global team. And so if you're in Europe, we have an office in London that you can call and speak to at any given time. Same rules apply for non-European hours. There's always somebody on the other end when you travel with us. So what exactly do we offer? You know we're the largest tour operator when it comes to rail, but what does that look like? Well, we do what we call a vacation package. I'm sure you've booked a vacation package in the past, whether it be to Mexico or Hawaii, it's all bundled together with your transportation, your accommodations, uh, your sightseeing, and more. We serve in the same capacity. So our packages will include the following six items for you. Confirmed seat reservations, popular sightseeing activities in the major cities, hotels. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Ferries, excursions, and overnight rail travel. Maybe you've always wanted to go across Australia by train. Totally do that. We booked the Indian Pacific. We booked the Gone Train. Maybe you want to do the Venice Simplon Orient Express coming out of uh, Paris or London, overnighting into Venice, and that's the popular one. Absolutely, we can do that for you, and many other things. And so 
Now, what we do is what we call independent travel. So we are uh, we are not an escorted tour operator. So if you fly into London, for example, we're not going to be there to meet you at the airport to take you to your hotel. That'll be on you. You uh, independent travel is a bit more affordable, and uh, but we cover all the major components for you, like the following six items. Now, before I get into all of the Switzerland itineraries, let me start out by saying this. Switzerland is now open for business at for Americans. We can travel to Switzerland now. There's some restrictions in place, but they are minimal. So the EU very slowly is starting to open back up. And I was just informed by a coworker an hour ago, and I verified this, that uh, we can go into Switzerland. And so all the key destinations I share with you today are now at our fingertips. So that is really good to know. Second of all, all of our packages completely customizable. Uh, so you can add on destinations. We can make it a round trip journey. We can book a package in reverse order for you, or you can upgrade to first class and private tours. So fully customizable. You can mix them around any which way you'd like to fit your needs. Now, when it comes to hotels, we offer a range of three, four, or five-star rated hotels. So obviously you have a level of hotel that you expect when you travel, we're gonna be able to fulfill that for you, especially if you tell us what that is. And so if you wanna keep it budget sensitive, or if you wanna walk in the middle road or go five-star all the way, we have you fully covered. All of our hotels uh, throughout Switzerland, uh, the whole world that is, they're all located within one or two miles of the train station, very close proximity, and you're going to be right in the heart of each European city that you want to visit. So why book now? I mean, I know Switzerland's open. Europe overall is still shut down to us. Why should I book this now and not wait until they actually open up? It's a fair question, and I'd be asking the same thing. Because we offer maximum flexibility for customers. So if you make any new reservations for, uh, with us in the next few weeks, you have up until the end of June to call and cancel for any reason, and up until five days before departure, and you could um, you could cancel or reschedule your vacation at no penalty. That's the key here. So there's no penalty, and like I mentioned earlier, everybody has a different story. Everyone has different health histories. I've got a clean bill of health, and I praise the Lord for that, but my next-door neighbor survived cancer. Her story is completely different. I, I mean, that's the best example that I can think of. So we want to make it easy for people uh, as, as everybody has a different story. So there you go. Now, right now, um, you can spring into travel because we have our limited time savings event going on right now. And so if you're looking at going to Europe in the next year, 12 months or beyond, uh, you might as well make your reservation soon because we can save you a lot more money up front. And you're just placing the deposit down and, uh, and you could travel any time into the future. So if you're serious about it, why not save a couple extra bucks by making your reservation here in the next few weeks? So here is Europe by rail made easy. I wanna highlight the European rail network map to give you the impression of just how challenging, logistically challenging the rail uh, companies are over in Europe. So you'll notice the entire continents here and all those different colors of rail lines. Now they don't all communicate with each other. Uh, it's, um, it's sort of the, Europe is like the heart of rail travel and all those different lines you're seeing are all the different, uh, uh, different parts of our body that filter and, and connect our blood together and that kind of a thing. I'm forgetting the word now offhand, but, uh, anyway, everything that the heart of rail can be found in Europe and there's so many different ways you can get around Europe. So there's technically over 1100 rail routes. 35,000 train stations. I mean, it, Europe, European rail is a big deal. And most people don't understand how it all comes together. And that's understandable. So how do you get from London to Paris to Spain, over to Italy and up to Germany? Is that even doable when it comes to rail? Well, if you look at all those countries, it actually is. And with our rail expertise, we're going to be able to make that a reality for you and how easy all that will come together. Now, the train operators, are doing some very common basics, uh, basic common sense things to keep people safe. They do require masks. They do uh, promote social distancing. And in fact, they're required to do that with a 50% capacity right now. They're sanitizing these uh, trains all the time, almost every hour. And the reason why I share this with you is because I know it's irrelevant for us because we can't technically get into Europe overall, 
but rail travel around the world usually falls under essential government services. I know Amtrak, uh, since March of last year, has always kept their trains running. I mean, they've modified the schedules a bit, but overall, Amtrak remained active through 2020 and uh, through this first quarter of 2021. In Europe, it's the same story. They're generally funded by their governments and they do require that they be in services. And so there's that for you. So that's why I share all this with you is because they're, they're, they have to be open for, for travel, but they're doing certain things to keep people safe. And by the time we go to Europe, this could be a completely different story. And I don't know what that'll look like yet. So um, when the time comes, rest assured, the trains are still keeping this in mind as the world continues to evolve and reopen. And so with all of that said, and I apologize if I sound too salesy, I try not to do that, but these are key pieces of information I want you to know about. I'm gonna now share with you our top packages for Switzerland, and let's go ahead and take a virtual train ride together. So our first package, the Grand Tour of Switzerland. Now this is our largest vacation package in Switzerland, 15 days to be exact, and it starts in Zurich, heads over to Interlaken, down to Lausanne, Zermatt, St. Moritz, Lugano, and Lucerne. If you've never been to Switzerland, you'll never have to go back after doing a tour like this, because you'll see it all. And the journey begins in Zurich, uh, which is the largest city, of course. And so uh, Zurich is a great place to start, because if you're gonna fly directly into Switzerland, that's where you're likely headed. And we have uh, hotels right in the city center, not far away from the main uh, train station terminal. And so you'll get camped up here for a two night stay upon arrival. Get yourself acquainted with Swiss culture, roam around the great city, check out the museums, go to the outdoor gardens and more and just get lost in Swiss culture. And then from there, after your two nights in Zurich, you're gonna board the Swiss rail to head down into Interlaken. Now, Swiss rail um, is completely independent of all the luxury trains of Switzerland, which we're gonna get into in a moment. So with the Swiss rail, you can practically get all over the country and it is a preferred way of travel. Switzerland's such a, a mountainous country, it's tough to drive. Rail's the real way to do things. And your first stop here will be Interlaken, uh, which is only about two hours outside of uh, Zurich, maybe two and a half, and you'll get checked in for a two night stay. Now, Interlaken is one of those hidden gems of Switzerland that you have to visit if you go. You gotta see it. It's known for its famous architecture, its rich culture, and its diverse uh, and its diversity in terms of the food offerings and things like that. And uh, now we offer a wonderful activity on board the Jungfrau Railway, and that's the most common outdoor experience you'll get in the Interlaken area. The Jungfrau Railway will go to the highest elevated point in, in Europe called Jungfrau Jacques. Say that five times fast. And when you get to the top of Europe, that'll be the view you, you can expect to see. Hopefully it's a clear day, I will say that. But you can see all around those snow-capped mountains. I mean, you are up high. I'm forgetting the exact elevation offhand. Uh, I should probably have Googled that, but that's okay. But up here, you're gonna, see, you're gonna be on top of Europe top of the world basically and it is a wonderful experience highly encourage you to do this if you're going to be visiting inner Locken. now after that you're going to take the train over to Lausanne for a quick one night stay and uh, Lausanne not far from inner Locken at all city by water and it's known for its um, famous architecture you can kind of see that right here they have a lot of different cathedrals and having been to Switzerland myself, uh, if you're Catholic, it's a dream come true because they have these beautiful cathedrals. And uh, I remember, I think I was in Lucerne, we, we did a 12 o'clock uh, lunch noontime uh, mass at a Catholic church. Having not been Catholic myself, I've never attended a Catholic service before and it was impressive, I will say that. The architecture is great, the cathedrals are beautiful, the statues, the uh, a lot of them are old and rustic looking too, but they do have some newer modern ones. So it, it's a nice balance. And you can spend your time with whomever you're traveling with, roaming around this great city, doing the things you wanna do. Here's our featured hotel that we have here, the Palace Hotel, I like to call it. And uh, this is one of the hotels you could upgrade to, especially if you're saving a lot of money, you can use the difference to do a nicer hotel and have a nicer experience. 
Now from there, you're gonna take the train over to Zermatt, which is my favorite city in Switzerland. It's located in the southern west tip of Switzerland, and it's home to the famous Matterhorn that you can see here. A couple of fun facts about Zermatt. It is 100% pollution free. Uh, and the reason for that is because there are no automobiles this high up in the mountains. Uh, so you're getting the freshest clean air you'll ever breathe. You can only access Zermatt by train or by helicopter. In fact, early in the morning, helicopters come in and they drop off food for the grocery stores. I mean, that's how remote this town really is. And I forget the population now, but it is not very big at all. And uh, you can roam around this great city. And uh, we, while you're here, you're going to do the Gornagrat Cog Railway activity. So you're going to get up on a cable car, basically, and you're going to go to the top of the mountain. I forget the name now. Uh, but you're going to get great views of the Matterhorn going up and down. And when you get to the top of the mountain, there's a glacier up there. There's a couple of hotels, uh, actually one hotel, I believe, with a restaurant. So you can have lunch up there if you'd like. And you could do some basic hiking. It's really a sightseeing, uh, you know, taking pictures, that type of a thing, type environment. Uh, but, you know, it only takes 30 minutes to get up and you can stay as long as you'd like. And it's about a 20 minute trip down from there. And those cable cars go multiple times a day, so you can kind of pick and choose the time you want to do that. So again, another R and R type of experience. And now what's going to get real fun as you board the Glacier Express for your trip across the Swiss Alps, heading all the way to Saint Moritz. Now the Glacier Express is a wonderful train ride. I'm going to show you some interior shots here in a moment. But this is Switzerland's most scenic and most luxurious and most popular uh, train that they have within the country. And you have a couple of different accommodations to choose from, first of which is going to be the Glacier Express Excellence Class. And uh, this is a the brand new services, just came out two years ago. Last year was obsolete, as we all know. Uh, but this is a great experience. It's definitely a five-star upgrade, I will say the least. But here's the thing. If you are celebrating a milestone birthday, a milestone anniversary, or maybe you're just now retired, starting a new chapter in life, you're gonna want this experience. It's once of a lifetime, make it worth your worth your wild here. And uh, when you're here, everything is all inclusive from your meals to your beverages to even your onboard entertainment. They provide complimentary Wi-Fi, they hand out iPads, and you just will not have to lift a finger on board this train. You have a full dome observation car, so you can see out both sides of the train. Now, if that's not really the way you typically travel, you're more of a middle of the road type of traveler, then first class will be just fine for you. Super luxurious. Uh, the Glacier Express just remodeled the first class cabin. So now you got these fully enclosed dome observation cars. Uh, meals are still included, still that five-star cuisine. Uh, and so forth, and uh, this is what you can expect in first class. So if you're not five star, you're more three and a half, four star, this is gonna be perfect for you. Uh, the Glacier Express also has a standard accommodation. So perhaps maybe you'd rather have nicer hotels than a nicer train ride. If you're going to the same place, no problem. Standard will be very comfortable, uh, sitting side by side from whomever you're traveling with, with the uh, five star hors d'oeuvres around the clock. And of course, you can roam the train, and you'll notice the the uh, half the full dome observation here. And so, no matter what class of service you're on the glacier, you're still going to get the great scenery of the Swiss Alps. And in, in fact, you're free to roam the train. They do have snack cars. They have a bar car for you if you're in a standard accommodation. You don't want to miss out on the cappuccinos and and the beers and the spirits. Uh, so, I mean, you are in Europe after all. That's heavily encouraged. And so there you go. So again, you're gonna have a fantastic train ride going through the Alps all the way to St. Moritz. And uh, just a little bit more on the food. It is, like I said before, five-star cuisine. Everything is made fresh to order. And uh, if you have nutritional needs, the train will be able to accommodate that. So you're gonna spend all day going through the Alps all the way to St. Moritz, which, is, which was another favorite town of mine. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the city on water, basically. And uh, when you're here, you're gonna get to do the Bernina Express, which is another luxury train up Switzerland, a little bit different from the Glacier. It only travels uh, through the Eastern side of the country from Toronto, Italy, which is south of the border, 
uh, up into core. So that whole right corridor of Switzerland and the Swiss Alps, this train will travel through. And here's the itinerary, really high bridges and tunnels. I mean, the, the when I, I remember this bridge too, when I was on it, you're probably a good 800 feet off the ground at this point. So uh, if you have some heights, you may want to just look out on the horizon. Uh, but um, this was a fantastic train ride, a little bit more homey. You still have an observation car from your seats here, uh, leather back seats, and the ability to purchase food and beverages on board the train. You're only on the train a couple of hours here, uh, so there's no full-blown meals, things like that. Uh, but again, great sightseeing experience. And then uh, after your stay in St. Moritz, you're going to head down into Lugano uh, for a couple of nights. And uh, another type of Zermatt type of a town. Uh, with the ability to roam around the city and do the things that you want to do. And, and that's that, folks, is why we do independent travel, because travelers, some like to be on an escorted program, which is wonderful, and some like to do their own thing, but yet have somebody else plan it. So I think we fit the bill here for both of those things. And so Lugano is a great destination, uh, especially if you're going to be in the southern part of Switzerland. Now, Lucerne is the final destination on this great 15-day package, the, the capital, of course, and uh, the largest, most populous city uh, for Lucerne. And uh, when you're here, you'll be there for three nights, which is probably the number of nights you would need to see everything. And we include the day trip out to Mount Pilatus. And so you'll take a cable railway in order to do that. Uh, this is a very steep mountain just found outside of Lucerne to give you a visual of what that would look like. And so you'll spend some time up here. Uh, there's hiking trails in a different package. I have a different shot of this and I'll highlight it. Uh, but you can spend, uh, this will be about three quarters of a day to do this activity. And then you'll be coming down uh, the backside of the mountain uh, via cable car, which is which actually was a lot of fun. You come down that mountain pretty quick. Uh, and then you'll be right there back in the heart of Lucerne. And uh, so, Lucerne, a little fun fact, it's home to the oldest wooden bridge in the world. Uh, and you can still walk across it. I did myself, it was a lot of fun. And this city is also known for its rich architecture, its wonderful cathedrals. You can see a little bit of that uh, with the different churches there in the background. I encourage you to go check those out. You know, being a person of faith myself, I was instantly drawn to those type of things. And they're a bit more rustic. You know, some of these were built in the 1500s. I mean, it's pretty crazy uh, with how well-maintained uh, these things are. But anyway, that is our 15-day itinerary, the grand tour of Switzerland. I do have the map right here for you, so you can kind of see it one more time. And like I said before, if you've never been, you've always wanted to go, you might as well do it all at once. You don't have to go back if you don't want to. And uh, we have a great way of putting all that together. Now, some people can't travel 15 days or they don't want to spend 15 days in one country. Totally understandable. Uh, we do have uh, some smaller variations of our Switzerland offerings. For example, the scenic Switzerland from Basel. So now you'll notice some of the same cities are found on this package. So we're going to go a little quicker through this one for the sake of time. And uh, so this journey will kick off in St. Moritz with a two-night stay. So if you're uh, for example, going to be doing a European river cruise, uh, maybe next year, and, and it ends in Switzerland, like most of them do, then I would encourage you to check out Switzerland. You're already there. You might as well. And so this journey will take you into St. Moritz for a two-night stay. Again, you'll do the Bernina Express, and here is the observation. Uh, I snapped this photo when we were en route. And then you'll be back on, you'll go on the Glacier Express heading west this side, uh, going towards Zermatt. And here's some of the uh, bridges and tunnels that you can expect to see along the way. You'll stay two nights in Zermatt. You'll do the Gorna Grat railway train again, like we've already outlined. And then this time you're going to head to Montreux, which is uh, one of the more popular cities on the west side of Switzerland, uh, right up there along Lake Geneva. Uh, there's some boat cruises you can do to get out there on the water and uh, you can simply roam around the city and do the things you want to do. And then of course you no trip to Switzerland is complete without seeing Lucerne of course so again a three-night stay and the Mount Pilatus railway uh, activity. So here's what the top of the mountain looks like when you're up there. 
very high as you can see and uh, the train station let me uh give you some illustrations here the train station is right here actually this is a uh, ho uh the hotel is actually where this person is standing and there's hiking trails that go all the way up this mountain right here i've done that myself and you get some great views once you're up there you can hike down the back side if you'd like so if you're into hiking Here's a great opportunity for you. If you're not a hiker, no worries. You don't have to do anything like that. Uh, but there is uh, some wildlife up there. They have some sheep and you know things like that. So you'll definitely see it. And uh, you know, on a clear day, you can see as far as Interlochen. So quite stunning. Now you're going to do a stopover in Interlochen, so you have the opportunity to do the Jungfrau Railway. So again, L uh, Europe's highest elevated point. You'll be able to do. Uh, but then you can add an activity if you'd like and do the Eiger Express and you can go catapult from uh, from a horizontal position going through the mountain terrain. It's a lot of fun. And then uh, this journey uh, of nine days will end in Zurich with a two night stay and that'll set you up perfectly to return home or wherever else your journeys may take you. So that is our scenic, scenic Switzerland from Basel, a uh, nine day itinerary as well. Now we are going to do the Zermatt and the St. Moritz itinerary next. Now this is a little bit shorter, five days in length. So if you are doing a river cruise and you can't do a nine day extension, we do have some smaller variations of that. So uh, here we go with the Zermatt and St. Moritz five day. And this journey uh, begins and ends in Zurich. So as a good starting point, direct rail, right down into Zermatt for a two night stay. So here's one of these, uh, more of the five star type hotels uh, up there in the mountains. Obviously you're gonna do the Gornegrat Railway. And then after two nights, you board the Glacier Express and you're gonna head all the way to St. Moritz. So here's another, uh, this is within the first few hours on the train, this is the scenery you can expect to see uh, as you hit the Alps heading into St. Moritz. Uh, so two nights there followed by the Bernina Express, which will take you uh, across the border into Italy. Actually, I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, this train will stop in a small city called Toronto, and there you can have pizza. The train's gonna be refueled and cleaned for its return trip, and you have about an hour and a half to see the area. I've done this myself, and then you get to go right back up into uh, Switzerland here, and then we'll cap off the trip in Zurich uh, with a two-night stay. And so actually not a two night stay, the rail will end in Zurich, giving you the option to fly home or wherever else your travels may take you. So, so guys, that's what I wanted to highlight today. Just kind of give you guys a bird's eye view of what you can do. Just to kind of recap some things, uh, Switzerland is open for American travelers as of now. And uh, so this is something you can put together if your heart's desire is on it. If you would like to learn more about us here at Rail Bookers, please join us uh, next week and on May 4th for our next uh, consumer presentations. Uh, so watch your emails for the invites. They're free, like the one today, and we, I'd encourage you to register yourself. So with that, I'm going to answer your questions. Uh, but first, I'm wondering what destinations you guys are considering right now. Is, is Europe on your horizon right now, or are you guys... Uh, looking to stay home for another year, just kind of curious, uh, or stay in the country uh, here at home in the next year, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay, uh, Ronald is asking, are there connections from Marin to the Glacier Express? So Ronald, I am not sure of that. I've been trying to think about it since you asked. I think it would be best if you gave us a call and spoke to our team directly. Uh, and they'll be able to tell you that. Uh, looks like Sarah is looking to do Switzerland in December of 2022. Wow. Okay, well, fantastic. Well, if you want to, for what it's worth, Sarah, we can save you all that money right now. Uh, if you, you know, make your reservations, we can book all that for you more than a year and a half in advance. Oh, very nice. You already did. Are you, I'm assuming you're traveling with rail bookers, Sarah. Is that correct? Oh, nice. Good for you. Can I ask uh, what cities you'll be visiting? Give you a moment to respond there. Uh, Bob is saying, oh, these packages are great. I never knew this Switzerland was that intense. Um, what's the best way to make a reservation? Great. Well, great question, Bob. Well, you have two ways of doing it. Number one is you can contact us directly or number two, 
you can go directly through your travel agent. I'll leave it totally up to you. It doesn't make one difference one way or the other. Sarah's going to do Zurich, Zermatt, and St. Moritz. Good for you, Sarah. That's wonderful. Great. Well, that's a ways off still, but uh, but that will come sooner than you think. As it just as it seemed to me, or it's just life get faster and faster and faster the older you get. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm 37 years old. I've got two young kids, and I, I blink and a year goes by. It's ridiculous, but it's all good. Yes, you should be excited. Glad to hear that, Sarah. Well, thank you again for your business. We're we're very appreciative of that. All right. Uh, I think I've answered all the questions that have come in. Uh, just checking here. Yep, I did. Okay. Well, great, guys. Let me um, advance to the final slide here, give you guys our contact information. Wanted to keep this simple today, and uh, it's all up to you guys at this point with what you would like to do. Uh, I hope you'll consider Amtrak vacations if you wish to stay here in the USA. Plenty to see right here in the USA, of course, so there you go. Well, guys, if there's nothing else, uh, have a wonderful evening. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, stay safe, and uh, God bless all of you. Have a good night.